everybody, and welcome to another installment of Toy Ventures. The subject this week is one of my favorite action figures of the 1970s, Slade by Shindana Toys. But before we get into Slade, we should probably offer a little backstory on this cool company that is Shindana. Shindana was formed in 1968, and it was a Los Angeles cooperative company that actually gave back to local businesses. In the 1960s toy landscape, black people were very underserved. If there was a doll or an action figure of a black character, it was just a white character painted black. The company's mission statement can be summed up by its president, who said once, we believe that only by learning to love oneself can one learn to love others. Shindana believes that by marketing black dolls and games that both black and white children can learn to relate to at an early age, the company can foster the spirit of what Shindana is all about. Love. While their first ventures were likely baby dolls and that sort of thing, their first license came around the early 1970s when they decided to do a Flip Wilson doll. Wilson was, of course, popular on television and one of the first breakthrough comedians to land his own show. After that, Shindana began to expand to games like the Jackson 5 and a character called Captain Soul, whom I wish they did an action figure of. By the mid-1970s, they had expanded into action figures, originally with O.J. Simpson, who was held in high regard at the time, and then later Dr. J, and, of course, Slade who is the subject of today's episode. So let's get this right off the table. Slade is definitely based on Richard Roundtree's Shaft, uh, but Shaft movies aren't something that you would want to market to children. They're fairly adult, and Shaft himself is kind of like a guy who plays by his own rules. So they probably had to tone it down, and that's exactly what they did with Slade. And the first noticeable difference between John Shaft and Slade is that Slade is actually an agent of the government. That is the name of his character, Slade, super agent. And the back of the box defines some of the differences between Shaft and Slade again. I'll go through them. From the neighborhood, the war and college, he learned it all. The neighborhood, he learned how to survive by knowing, understanding, and dealing with people. The war taught him how to survive by by going for days without food or sleep, how to track without being seen. He learned hand-to-hand -hand combat, weapons, communication, underwater diving, and skydiving. College. He learned to live through education, being strong in math, computer electronics, and business. He searched for a job to make use of all of his talents, his thirst for thrill and adventure, his hunger for more excitement and knowledge. With crime and corruption overtaking our world, his search was ended. Codename Slade. Super agent. So Shindana Slade is somewhat of a role model. And to keep going with this, Shindana did not market this action figure with a gun. In fact, the only thing the basic figure comes with is a communications pack. There are two versions of Slade that were available in 1976. The basic figure, as I'm showing you here, and a deluxe super agent set that includes a bulletproof vest, a climbing rope and hook, a utility tool belt, a fireproof protective suit, and what is listed on the box as ransom money. My own personal theory on Slade is that he was meant as kind of like a complimentary item to the Big Jim Wolfpack line of toys. I say this because uh, Shindana was partially sponsored by Mattel. They were one of the investors. And when Big Jim switched to the Wolfpack line, they didn't have an African-American character in, in the series, which I, I think is very odd, considering the packaging kind of looks like the Big Jim Wolf Pack, and, of course, Slade would fit in perfectly with the characters. Slade seemed to have sold pretty well for Shindana, as they did offer a new version in 1977 with a beard. I've never seen this figure. I don't know if it exists. I only have this one file photo. But I don't think it got made, to be perfectly honest with you. Shindana would continue for a few more years until folding in 1983. 
While I'm not sure why they folded, they did definitely raise the bar for other toy companies who would actually take it seriously to add more black characters to their toy lines. And that's the one thing Shindana really did, is they raised the bar. Their presence made other toy companies take notice and produce better product. You know, you got a G.I. Joe that was a realistic looking face. It, it really actually what they did was fantastic. And as soon as they folded a few years later, another toy company called All Mac would come and take their place that did the exact same thing yet again. And we're better for it. We, we get a better selection and, and a wonderful choice through these companies. So, so thank you, Shindana, for breaking new ground. Thanks, everybody, again, for watching Toy Ventures. I'd love to know your feedback on this episode. Do you have a Slade? Do you wish you had one? Let me know, either on our Twitter, at Plaid Stallions, through this YouTube channel. And, of course, PlaidStallions.com. We have a Facebook page. I'd love to hear from you. I'm always grateful to hear your support and your feedback. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you next week.